teams in the last 15 years to open a season, winning the first two events they had ever played together. Metzger finds the line. He barely found the line. That ball just barely caught the outside of the line. So the first three points go to Metzger and Gibb. Casey Jennings, Matt Furbring, the defending champions here at Belmar, their first title last year after six second place finishes. You have life. Oh. And the roof. Jake Gibb, Metzger and Gibb getting off to a tremendous start. Yeah, getting down by four points is no good thing out here. It's very difficult to score points, and now Metzger and Gibb have done a bunch right in a row. Metzger and Gibb got down four points in the first game their semifinal matchup and we're forced to go three. Make it five straight points and give there on uh, Jennings again and a much needed timeout taken by Casey Jennings and Matt Furbringer. Well that was just an unbelievable block. I mean Gibb was up way high, way over the net, waiting for the ball. He's going to try to get over the block but it
6-2, trying to get themselves back in this game one. Good. Hey, nobody. Come on. Yeah, get it, get it. Metzger makes no mistake. Oh, that's, seven, a, that's a great hit by Metzger. That set was about seven feet off the net, and he hits a nice shot down the line. Oh, 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 that can't be
<laughs> he, that's something he would do. Perhaps he could have gotten a sponsor uh, logo on that as well. Fooled that time. Metzger read the defense very well and put it to the open court. Well, well, Metzger that time, he took a real long look in case he made his move, and, and Metzger just hung in the air and shot the ball into the open court. Metzger and Gibb in their first final since Austin, Texas. No, no, no. Which was event number three on the year. This event number seven. Eight. Jennings and Furbringer, their second final of the year. They were third at Austin, but they won in San Diego.
Here in Belmont. 
Nygaard, number two, number three on the points chart with Holdren and Nygaard missing the final four for the first time this season here in Belmar. Dahlhauser, Lucena, first time winners in Austin. Rosenthal and Witt eliminated in the semifinals here today. Any one of those teams can win out here. Anyone that you saw on that list and Karch wasn't even on it. Get over! Through the block and the point for Metzger. And don't forget that the next three events through Southern California are all double point events. And so points are going to be earned at a, at a greater pace in the next couple of events. On the Nissan Championship Series. Hermosa.
best damn sports show, period, is the greatest nightly sports show on television. With your host, Chris Rose, co-host, John Sally, Rob Dibble, and Rodney Pete. The best damn sports show, period. Weeknights at 9 p.m. and 10.30, only on FSN. I thought that was your show, Mike. Yes, uh, it was for three whole days, Sinjin. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. I caught it. It was good fun, and Chris uh, needs some time off. I'm ready to go. Pretty much even out here, right at the end of the game. It's still anybody's game. They have served Casey Jennings the entire game one.
plays, I missed some digs, and then uh, I got to put those transition balls away, and we win that instead of them winning it. So uh, we'll see what happens this next game. I think we're right in it with them. You know, they definitely know that and uh, beat them this game, and then we'll see what happens. We've got to go to three. I know it's your 30th birthday. You were saying you really, really want this win, and it's very apparent out there. Yes, I really do. I really like Belmar, and I've had a great week. It's been it's been a blast, and I just enjoy it. I'm, I'm lucky to be here and uh, 30 years old doing exactly what I want to be doing, so it's really fun. All right, good luck out there. Back up to you guys. Mary, thank you very much. 30 years old in his first tournament win one year ago here at Belmar. Don't forget, we go full tilt. Get ready to see championship poker like you've never seen it before. Is the world's best fight it out for half a million dollars in prize money. It's full tilt poker dot net championship and win Las Vegas live and unedited Wednesday at 6 p.m. only on FSN full tilt poker dot net championship. I, I got to tell Kevin Wong about that because he's a big poker player. Oh, is that player. right? Oh, yeah. All right. He's all over Tell him to bring his game. Sure for a, uh, a small fee, he's welcome to join. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh, the difference in that game to me, right at the end, it seemed like Jennings kind of lost his fire. Remember? Yeah. Throughout the game, with, when they came back, he was screaming and yelling after every time he hit the ball. Well, of course, when you make a mistake, you're not going to scream and yell unless you're screaming and yelling at yourself. But I just felt like he lost his fire and intensity at the end of that first game. Now, let's see how he goes here in game two. Remember, they also fell behind 6-1 in that game and then came back but couldn't overcome Metzger. Stein Metzger's gotten better as the weekend has gotten along. That's right. Now, winning that first game has got to be a big boost for them. Yeah. After giving up the lead in the beginning, they, they stayed with them and then pulled it out at the end. Jennings finds the angle. And I don't know if you noticed, but every time that they serve Casey Short, Casey, except for one time I remember, he usually will shoot the ball because you can't get up in the air because you don't have that big approach because you've moved in to pass the ball. Well, I guess that's why you don't serve Jake Gibb a lot. <laughs> well, I'm sure Gibb was happy to have a serve. He went up and just <laughs> snapped that ball. Really sharp hit cross court. In case he just couldn't handle it. The former Utah U, 2004 AVP Most Improved Player, Metzger. Okay. Two titles this season. Come on, come on. Here's Metzger. And the battling Bruin tries the other side with success. Well, that, that started with a bad pass. It's a tough serve by Gibb. And uh, Casey didn't make a very good pass out of it. And when you don't get a good pass, it's really hard to get a good set. Casey taped the ball. Anything else you want to know? I think that uh, pretty <laughs> much covers it. Thank you very much, <laughs> Mr. Sinjin Smith. Gibb to serve. 3-1, Metzger Gibb. You got angle. Jennings is roof. So this game starting out almost identically to game one. It's 4-1. Gibb get up and reach over the net and just smother that ball straight down. There was nowhere. He made the right move into the angle. Gibb was having a lot of problems with his blocking in the semifinals against Sean Rosenthal. He's made some nice adjustments here for the final. And, and you know what it looked like he did that time? He waited just a little bit longer. It looked, from KC's point of view, it looked like the angle was open in the beginning. Right now. And then Gibb just went up and reached right into the angle. It's early, and we don't want to try too hard. Okay, so let's get composed and play control again. Stein's coming in and starting back middle. When I see that court position, I know that Jake's going to make that step over. So we got to go to a two one two. I'm going to get out here. Okay. Going to him. Hey, that look that you just swing wider because Jake running in.
it's a it's a good uh, a, another good tool to use. You, you use your whole body on defense if you can. Uh, it's amazing some of the balls that are dug at this level of any type of volleyball section, but obviously on the beach, unbelievable. Big jump served by Jennings. Encore's Pro Shop in the Northwest has more new name brand golf clubs and accessories in stock than any other pro shop in the Northwest. No matter what your handicap, we have the right equipment to improve your golf game. Looking for a new driver? We encourage you to use our launch monitor that finds the proper launch angle and spin rate. If you're driving to Eugene, allow our expert staff to fit you for your next set of clubs. Our website is fiddlersgreen.com or call 800-548-5500 for more information. Fiddlers Green, serving the Northwest golfer for 29 years. Hey, where's your brother? He'll be here. Can you believe the wife bought him a brand new bike? No way. Who is that? I think that's our father. <laughs> same family. Nice bike, Henry. <laughs> Different bikes. Same insurance company. Nice color, Henry. <laughs> Geico. One call could save you money on your motorcycle insurance, too. Let me tell you about my deep sea charter fishing adventure. We drove down to Westport where we boarded our boat, ready to go out into the Pacific. Come make your own fish story with the best in Westport, deep sea charters.
the set that Gibb gave Metzger, it wasn't really that close. It allowed Furbringer to make that overhand dig. And that's that same kind of dig that he got called on before, but the ball was spiked much harder, so he was allowed to double hit it on the dig.
again. Wow. It's not, I didn't like that. I, he, he has so much fun playing this game. It's unbelievable. Unlike anyone else out there. And I'll tell you what, Metzger showing some emotion, pumping and flexing, hopefully to a title. 3 2 count on Adrian Beltre, bottom of the seventh, man at first. The catcher flexing.
fighting off two match points in the semifinals. They're now five points shy of title number three. And Casey Jennings finds some open court. And Furbringer helped him. He said, angle, angle. <laughs> he saw that Metzger had left and gone to dig the line. The angle was wide open. You know, you got to have help from your partner. You can't see the whole court when you're going up trying to spike the ball. And in this win, Karch Karai was telling us that you know, when you look down, the ball can be four foot from where it was supposed to be. Hey, exactly. Angle, angle. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Casey tried 
tried to sneak it by the line, and uh-uh, it was all over that.
is really true, actually. Um, Way to get the plug in there, son. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, uh, we're looking forward to coming back to Belmar, I guess, next year. This place is awesome. Great. Congratulations, Don Nexter, Jacob. Winners of the Belmar Open. Jamie, I did it, babe. And I've got a new co-host. Back to you. Uh, Mary overpowered by 6'7", Jake Gibb. This concludes our coverage of the men's final from Belmar, New Jersey, where Gibb and Metzger win for the third time this season, defeating Furbringer and Jennings two games to none. Now stay tuned because coming up next we'll have coverage of the women's final between Misty May and Carrie Walsh and Elaine Youngs and Rachel Walkholder. That is coming up next right here.